Hi, I'm Dr. Mayur Nigre from Metropolis Healthcare Limited and head the Department of Hematology and Transplantomology at our Global Referral Lab, Mumbai. Metropolis is a leading diagnostic brand across India and Africa with over 100 advanced labs and 200 senior pathologists delivering diagnostic solutions in areas of routine, semi-speciality and super-speciality domains like oncology, neurology, gynecology, nephrology and many more. Today, I'm going to share recent information on molecular testing of BCR-ABL1 gene. This test helps doctors to treat patients with CML to determine the progress of their treatment with tyrosine kinase inhibitor therapy using international scale. At Metropolis, we focus in detail on entire processing of testing and validation to deliver the accurate diagnosis. At Metropolis, we focus in detail on entire process of testing and validation to deliver the accurate diagnosis. Today, I am going to share recent information on molecular testing of BCR-ABL1 gene for monitoring the response of therapy in patients with chronic myeloid leukemia. This test helps doctors to treat patients with CML to determine the progress of their treatment with tyrosine kinase inhibitor therapy with incorporation of international scale for harmonization of its value for an individual patient. At Metropolis, we focus in detail on the entire process of testing and validation to deliver an accurate diagnosis. As we all know, chronic myeloid leukemia belongs to the group of myeloproliferative neoplasms. And in more than 90% of cases, characterized by the presence of Philadelphia chromosome. This chromosome is a product of reciprocal translocation T922 between the long arms of chromosome 9 and 22. This translocation results when the tyrosine kinase human humologue of ABL1 gene from chromosome 9 merges with breakpoint cluster region BCR gene on chromosome 22, resulting in BCR ABL1 fusion gene of 210 kilo Dalton on 22Q11. That encodes for uncontrolled tyrosine kinase activity, which leads to myeloid cell proliferation. When we suspect an MPN, Philadelphia chromosome detection becomes a key diagnostic criteria to differentiate it from other MPNs like polycythemia vera, essential thrombocythemia, or chronic idiopathic myelofibrosis. The initial detection of BCR-ABL1 gene fusion is done by FISH or cytogenetics, while the monitoring of progress of treatment by TKI is done by RT-PCR technique. The molecular biology workflow is segregated in three restricted areas pre-amplification, amplification and post-amplification to prevent carrier contamination. Pre-analytically, BCR-ABL IS scale assays are processed from EDTA whole blood or bone marrow specimen of a known CML patient. Specimen has to reach lab within 24 hours for accurate transcript percentage. Specimens are rejected on the basis of presence of hemolysis. This is our first checkpoint for quality control for accurate testing. For every case, complete blood counts are done on a fully automated five-part differential analyzer and the slide is reviewed by a competent pathologist to determine the morphological presence of CML. The assay comprises of three main steps, RNA isolation, real-time PCR setup, analysis and report generation. Step 1, RNA isolation is done using Kyogen kit within 4 hours of receipt of sample and it is carried out in a separate pre-amplification area under biosafety cabinet in an RNAs free working environment with dedicated set of pipettes. RNA extraction takes about couple of hours. RNA quantification is done to proceed further for PCR setup. This is our second quality control checkpoint.
Step 2. Once the RNA OD is within the acceptable limits, the next step is PCR setup for BCR ABL assay. It has a two step protocol cDNA preparation for BCR ABL1 assay, in which total RNA is reverse transcribed. The generated cDNA is amplified using a pair of specific primers and a specific internal double dye probe of BCR ABL1 and ABL1. PCR setup is carried out in a dedicated PCR workstation in a separate amplification area using its dedicated set of pipettes and consumables. The PCR assay kit comprises of 5 standards of BCR ABL1 and 4 standards of ABL1. The workflow simply involves addition of mixes and cDNA 2.1 ml strip tubes. The assay setup is carried out using an electronic pipette to minimize well-to-well -well variation and ensure accuracy. Once all the samples and standards are added to the tubes and subjected to real-time thermal cycling, the assay run time takes approximately 2 hours 30 minutes. Step 3. The next step is analysis of real-time PCR results. The data generated from real-time PCR run is imported in a software and the IS values are auto-calculated by the software. The run is considered valid only if all the standards are within acceptable limits and accordingly the patient samples are analyzed. This is the checkpoint 3 for quality control. As per NCCN guidelines, if ABL copies are below 10,000, BCR ABL report is not generated and repeat specimen is requested. This is checkpoint 4 for quality control. The entire workflow from sample to report can be completed within 6 hours. The assay is highly reproducible as the workflow is standardized, analysis is software based and there is minimal or no interpersonal variation in data generated. CML disease monitoring is therefore an essential tool to assess treatment response and detect early relapse for each individual patients. Hence, Metropolis introduced international scale in order to harmonize the value for individual. Due to targeted therapy in CML with tyrosine kinase inhibitors like imatinib, monitoring of BCR-ABL plays a vital role in complete cytogenetic response, major molecular response and complete molecular response. An in-house study was conducted and a poster presented on the same. This study was done to evaluate the significance of introducing international standardization values in monitoring the response of TKI therapy in CML patients. Converting BCR-ABL1 expression levels measured in local clinical laboratories to international scale via laboratory-specific conversion factors has been shown to improve major molecular response. The outcome of the study matched the published data. The molecular testing for BCR-ABL fusion gene by relative quantitative RT-PCR method is the most sensitive routine approach for monitoring the response to the therapy in patients of CML. Monitoring BCR-ABL1 mRNA transcripts at regular intervals in patients of CML helps to determine the progress of patients under TKI therapy. Achieving a deep molecular response is a sign of disease remission. Doctors may also refer to this as molecular response 4.5 or MR 4.5. This means levels of BCR ABL in your blood are 4.5 logs or 10,500 times lower than they were before treatment started. Patients who are treated and achieve deep molecular response MR 4.5 are considered to be in remission. And after a period of time, 
they may have the option of living free of drug therapy. The mainstay of treatment still currently consists of tyrosine kinase inhibitors targeting the aberrantly active ABL kinase. It is expected that a hematological complete remission with normalization of blood counts and splenomegaly will occur within three months of treatment initiated. Second, a major cytogenetic response should be achieved ideally within three months, but certainly within six months. Lastly, but not least, a major molecular response is desired within 12 months and is defined as three log reductions of BCR ABL transcripts as measured by quantitative PCR method. Patients who achieve this level of molecular response have an excellent prognosis with 100% of such patients remaining free of progression at 8 years. As per the slide, definition of responses to treatment can be a hematological response, cytogenetic response, and molecular response. A cytogenetic response can be complete, partial, minor, minimal, or none. However, a major molecular response has to be a 3 log reduction from initial diagnosis of sample. Clinical correlation of the test and its interpretation as shown on the slide with x-axis showing log reduction and molecular remission versus BCR ABL values and y-axis showing timelines. The test interpretation and its clinical utility standpoint is defined on the basis of early molecular response, major molecular response and deep molecular response. As you see, the report format is self-explanatory with result interpretation and reference ranges for MMR and the BCR ABL copies in IS scale as well as the ABL copies is control gene depicted in the same report. Thank you for your time. I hope this presentation was informative enough to understand molecular testing for BCR ABL gene and its utility in monitoring the response to therapy in patients with CML which determines the progress of ongoing treatment by tyrosine kinase inhibitors. For further information, please feel free to write to us at medconnect at metropolisindia.com.